Hey guys, sorry for this super weird angle. I randomly decided to start a vlog, which is fun. Um, so today on Libby, my copy of I'm Thinking of Ending Things just came in and I was so excited because I know that the Netflix movie just recently came out and so I wanted to read it before I watched the movie and wanted to compare and then I thought that that might be kind of a fun vlog idea to read the book and then watch the movie and tell you guys what I think about it. I started it already today on my lunch break at work um so I'm only a few pages in I didn't get super far so I don't really have any thoughts about it now but I am super excited because I have heard that this book is just creepy and that it will mess with your mind and I'm excited for that. I don't read a lot of horror. Actually, I don't read any horror. I am a wimp. I read thrillers occasionally if I'm feeling brave. I mean, that's about as scary as I get. I'm excited to see how I feel about this dark and twisty book. I will probably not update tonight. I am actually on my way to a dinner rehearsal. A rehearsal dinner. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't sound right. A rehearsal dinner for my best friend's wedding. I'm so excited. I will update when I'm a little farther along in the book and hopefully it's fun. I don't know. I really had no plan for this. I just kind of decided to do it very last minute. So yeah, that's fun. That pretty much describes everything I do. I will see you guys later. Hey guys. So it's actually a few days later. I had my best friend's rehearsal dinner and then her wedding. And then I have just been pretty busy at work. Um, it's my first year as a school-based SLP and just remote learning and coronavirus and everything we have to do with that is just very, oh, time consuming and stressful. And yeah, so I haven't been doing tons of reading, but I did sit down tonight and read and I realized I have not updated at all since the first night I decided to do this random vlog. I'm currently on page 120. I'm 47% of the way through, so it's not a huge book or anything but I really have no guesses as to what's going on. It's very weird and creepy so far, but nothing has happened that's really scary or anything. It's giving me vibes of the movie, The Visit, I think it's called, where the kids go and visit their grandparents and just weird stuff starts happening. It reminds me a lot of that so far. So I don't know if that's gonna carry through or anything, but that's what it's reminding me of. I have no guesses. As to what's gonna happen, but I am planning on getting a little bit of reading done tonight. It does worry me reading it at night because like I've mentioned, I'm a complete wimp. And so I hope things don't get too spooky. I'm not gonna give away spoilers of anything that's happening, I don't think. Maybe when I compare it with the movie, I will. So I'm not gonna go through specific things that have happened, but it's definitely just weird. Like I really don't have any guesses. There's things I know that are off, but I can't guess why like I can't connect it I don't know like I said horror thriller whatever you want to call this it's not my usual genre basically I just wanted to let you know I don't know what's going on I have no guesses so yeah I'm just completely in the dark with this one also I forgot to mention so I don't think this is a spoiler because obviously I don't know what's going on but if you don't want to hear anything about the book you don't want any possible spoilers just get to this little timestamp and you won't hear it but one thing I think is so weird that I noticed is we have never been told the main character's name and I know that we're reading from her perspective but she's never said her name her boyfriend Jake has never said her name and I kind of started picking up on it whenever she came to the parents house that there was never like an introduction scene and i was like what is her name and so i actually went on the imdb of the movie and her name is like lady or woman or something like that and i was like oh my gosh we actually don't know this girl's name and i just thought that was so weird so i don't know if that has anything to do with it it might not but that is one thing i thought was 
so bizarre. <laughs> Is that the weirdest reading from this nameless woman? perspective and I didn't notice for a while I was just chugging along reading and then it hit me when they went to the parents house so they just got done there is the point where I'm at and they're about to drive home so I will catch up with you later hey guys so I am back in my bed but it is actually the next day and I am reading a little bit I don't know what's going on I'm so confused I I think I might be too dumb to get this book, honestly. It's just weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's just lots of weird stuff is going on. I don't have any guesses as to how it ends. I mean, I heard that this book really messes with your brain and I don't know if I'm at a point where it's supposed to already be doing that, but it is. I'm confused. I don't think this is a spoiler. I don't really know, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of pages in this book just in case you haven't read it so you can understand what this reading experience has been like um if you don't want any spoilers i don't know if it is like i said i don't know what's going on but if you don't want any spoilers and you don't want to see the pages just skip um so i guess this timestamp it's not going to be super long it just keeps going and all it says is what are you waiting for and we're just gonna keep going like what? Am I supposed am I supposed to know what that means? I don't know. I'm confused. Now I'm 81% of the way through page 199. So basically 200. So we'll see how far I get tonight. Um, hopefully pretty far unless it starts freaking me out because it's pretty late. It's, oh my gosh, it's already 1030. So maybe I should just put it down. I don't know. We'll see. It's very weird and confusing. And yeah, like I said, I don't know what's going on. It's the next day. I actually finished. I'm thinking of ending things last night, but I was just too tired to film an update. So here I am today. Initial spoiler free thoughts. I liked the first 80% of the book and it did a great job at making me feel scared in parts that I didn't know if I should be scared at. I didn't know if I was just being a wimp or if it was giving other people that uneasy feeling that it was giving me. I didn't know what was going on. I was so confused and I just felt like it was building up to this huge big thing that was just going to make me feel so freaked out. The middle of the book was so freaky that I was expecting the ending to just be huge and it wasn't for me. I was really disappointed with it. I read it on my Kindle and in it there is a little excerpt from another one of his books and so when I was reading it I still had like I was only 85% of the way through but it said the book was over and I could not believe it. I was so confused because I just thought there would be so much more. The big twist thought there'd be more I don't know it wasn't that shocking to me so I'm gonna go into spoilers I think I know I said I wasn't but if you haven't read it or you plan on reading it and you don't want to know any spoilers just skip to this time stamp here and then I will probably be watching the movie so spoilers starting now I just wasn't that shocked to find out that it was all one person because there were definitely parts that led up to us thinking that and I wouldn't say that I guessed it but I you know that they have some sort of connection because the whole thing is when he points to a picture or when she points to a picture of herself and she is like oh who is this and he says that it was him and she says no that was me it, it's weird and then it goes back to what I said earlier where I didn't know if it was a spoiler but she never had a name so I guess that goes back to the part where he just made these people up that this was just all one person I don't really know I don't really know what to think of it it just wasn't that really scary uneasy ending it was just kind of a sad ending and I mean it was pretty obvious what was going to happen because through the chapters it's going from 
this girlfriend's point of view to these people talking about this person who decided to end their life. I know that that's not really great thoughts about it. I really don't know what to think because I feel like I was just pretty disappointed. This is a pretty high book and I hear all the time how uneasy it is and just how scary it is and after the Netflix movie came out I saw this article thing it popped up on like Facebook or something but it was like why I'm thinking of ending things is the scariest story ever or something like that and I just didn't think it really was it was a short book it probably took me a little bit longer to read than most people but I'm a slow reader it's fine but whenever I watch the movie I will update you I'm excited to see how they go about doing things because a lot of the book is the girlfriend's thoughts and I don't know how they're going to do that. I'm excited to watch the movie and I will stop talking and rambling on now. So I think I'm going to go do some work and I will catch up with you guys when I start the movie. Alright, so since the last time you saw me, I got a haircut. I got some new bedding and I'm officially finished. I'm thinking of ending things. The movie. Initial thoughts. It was very different, but I don't think it took away from the overall story, which was nice. One thing I mentioned was that I was wondering how they were going to do the thoughts she was having throughout the entire book because that's a huge part of which spoilers this will be spoiler filled just FYI the woman's mind the entire time we are in there we are hearing her thoughts and the movie did a voiceover which I know sometimes that can be kind of cheesy in my opinion it worked also the janitor was a way bigger part in this my dog is scratching at my door. I'm sorry if you hear that. The janitor was such a bigger part of the movie. We kept getting glimpses into him at the school, which kind of is foreshadowing that he will be a bigger part. And so I think that if I had just watched the movie, I would have been a little confused with seeing that. I was, oh my gosh, he's such a stinker. He didn't even want to come in. I liked that they showed the janitor. It showed you that he was going to be a bigger part. You got to see him at home. You got to see him cleaning the school. He scene where they go to Jake's parents house was very bizarre. There's a lot of things that happen in the movie that don't happen in the book. It's interesting because it still gives you that weird feeling of this like build up that something's going to happen and then it doesn't and so it gives you that weird creepy feeling. One thing that I did notice and I don't know if I just missed this in the book but I got the book off of Libby so I can't go back and look because it's already back at the library but in the movie the main girl has many different names it's not just a young woman they call her Lucy um Lucia I think like she has tons of different names that she gets called and I don't remember that because I remember in the book thinking that she never had a name. So does she have a name in the book? I guess I could just google it. But if anybody remembers her having a name in the book, maybe I'm just stupid and don't remember it. I don't know. One thing that did bother me a lot, which is such a small detail, but the woman was not lactose intolerant. And in this, she eats the chocolate cake and they go to the... It was Dairy Queen in the book. It had a different name in the movie. She gets ice cream there instead of the lemonade and just little things like that annoy me. There's such small details that do not change the story. So why don't you just leave it in there? Why, why can't she just have her lactose intolerant issue and make the book readers happy? <laughs> I would have gone into the movie having not read the book I would have been thoroughly confused because even knowing everything I knew in the book I was still confused in the movie there's this whole 
dance sequence and the janitor gets naked and is walking with a pig and it's just very weird. It's a lot to take in but I found this YouTube video and I'll link it down below because I ended up watching it and it was basically the ending explained and after it was explained to me I really appreciated it I guess. I think this is a really hard one to do a book versus movie because they were so different even though the overarching story was the same. I think I did like the book better just because I don't know how to explain this because in the book like I had mentioned why I didn't like it was because it was so creepy and weird that I thought it was leading up to this huge thing and then it didn't and the movie it's kind of doing the same thing neither are really new favorites I think I kind of felt the same about both I think the book was more straightforward and I didn't leave it having questions about it like I didn't need it explained to me <laughs> where the movie after the whole dance and the janitor getting naked, I was thoroughly confused. It is a very sad story. I definitely think it's more sad than it is scary. Um, it definitely gives you an uneasy feeling throughout, but then once you get to the end, it's, it's pretty sad. I am kind of at a loss for words because it's just weird. It's not... What I usually watch and it's not what I usually read. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun. Um, maybe I will do it with some other books and movies that I haven't read or seen the movie. Um, that would be really fun. If you'd be interested in that, let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and all that YouTube jazz. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs>